Hi guys, welcome to this session in LibreOffice Base Database. In this module, I want to show you how to do some simple queries. So first of all, let's have a quick recap of the tables that I have in this database. So tables, and then I've got three tables. Customer, I'll open that one, and just bring that into this screen. And you can see I've added a couple of extra fields, city and appointment, and I've put a few more records in from my last little video. So what I want to do is show you how you can do some queries to integrate this data. Remember, a query is something that you want all the time, information that you want all the time, and then you save it as part of your database, and you can then base reports on that. A query is not some ad hoc question that somebody asks you that you do a filter on. You don't need to create a query just for that. You can just filter things instead. Now, if I close this table down and create a query, so you've seen the table, so now I'm going to queries, and then at the top there, you've got new query. Now, when you click on new query, you get the query window opened with the option to add tables. Now, I'm only going to add the customer table. And I don't want the rest of them. You can expand this to see all the fields. And then I'm just going to double click them down individually. You can drag and drop. But there you go. So the first query, I want to know everybody that joined this organization after the first of... January 2020 so to do that you just use a greater than sign and then 1 1 20 now once I click underneath that those little hashes means that this is recognized as a date field now you've got a little tick box up here which says run query and then it gives you the results there of the, the criteria that matches up with that now if you wanted to save this information you would just go save and give it a a name so I'll just call it QRY because that's the naming convention for queries when you're working with databases and um, I'll put after 2020 for example okay then you can close that one down and do a new one and then when I do the second one so I'll just go for a new query I'm going to just keep changing the criteria and just show you basically what's going to happen same thing same table open up so you can see all the fields double click it down now let's have a look at the city field so I want to see everybody that was in or lives in Leeds so you type Leeds run the query and it gives you the results there so if I I don't want to save this one but you would normally go on and save this one but I'm just going to show you how this works so type Bradford Bradford run the query again criteria changes so if I take that out again and put leads back and then say um, after the first of the first 20 and is a manager so this is three columns I'm asking Let's see if there's anybody marries up with that so there is two after the first of January 2020 that are in leads and are both managers so yes there is now if I get rid of this criteria for now so you could, for example, have um, a query that's just looking at um, appointments. You might just want there is uh, an option for director. So if I put director there and run this, it gives you the two directors. And then you would save that or not. Now, there's also an option to do what's called a between and and query. So if I click into the criteria row and type between so you can type between a date so if i go the first of the first 20 and the first of the first 23 let's see what happens there again you get the hashes if i just widen that column so you can see that so that's the syntax for this hashes is good run so that's showing you the results. And if I change this to a different date, so if I go down to 2000 and then run that again, it picks up some extra information. So that's the bet between an and query. If I get rid of that, delete that, and then just, just pull this back across. So just to recap, this is the criteria line. What you put on there is what this is going to match up, and then you would save that if you wanted that information. So if I just change this to look at leads, 
again leads run the query just shows you the leads options and if I type Derby I think there's only one for Derby run that one just shows you Derby and there's only one for Bradford as well so that's just a very quick video on how to do some very simplistic basic queries on future videos I'll do a few more complicated queries so you can see how they all work and build up your database but for now that's all I want to talk about thank you for your time and I'll catch you in the next one